Hello and welcome once more to the business programme here on Kirkley's Local TV. I recently managed to acquire from America a second-hand copy of a book published in 1963 which tells the story of the World Bank. Not a particularly enticing title until you see the subtitle, The Road to Huddersfield. For many reasons Huddersfield was chosen as a leading example of how the technological revolution had transformed an almost medieval agricultural landscape into a flourishing, vibrant society through aspiration, enterprise and education along with harnessing the natural resources of water, climate, coal, wood, stone, iron ore and of course wool. Alongside this we had the introduction of effective national transport systems like roads, canals, railways and of course we had the town infrastructure of clean water, sewage, gas, electricity schools and tramways etc etc. So where does this leave us in today's fourth revolution digital interconnected world? Well sadly Huddersfield might no longer be Premier League in more ways than one but could we be in a Premier position in terms of key infrastructure investment that should allow us to compete once more but in a different way on a world stage? To explain further I've asked Steve Moore City Manager of City Viber currently here in Huddersfield to explain a little bit more to us. Steve, thanks for taking time out today to join us. And can you tell me who or what City Fibre is? Well, firstly, thank you for the invite to this Pleasure. fantastic uh, <laughs> studio. I'm so very impressed. Here in uh, the heart of Huddersfield. Yeah. Yes. Um, so City Fibre is the uh, UK's leading alternative provider of wholesale fibre optic infrastructure in the UK. Uh, we are investing in 50 uh, towns and cities and we are the gold standard of, uh, of internet connectivity. Brilliant. So why have they chosen to invest here in Huddersfield and what does that investment involve as we aspire to become the first gigabyte town? Uh, well first for, for Huddersfield um, it has, we're here because it has a very strong creative and digital sector uh, so yes. they are very active here. Uh, there is also a, uh, a strong um, manufacturing and advanced manufacturing sector. And you mentioned about the industry, uh, industrial revolution, industry 4.0, and that for us is the, the, the combining of, the, of those two technologies. Um, and we see that as, as being enablers of, uh, of industry 4.0. Okay. So what's this investment that's actually taking place, and will there be much disruption? Um, it's... We will be building uh, to practically nearly every home and business in, in Huddersfield. Um, we are employing, though, the most uh, uh, sort of uh, technological uh, mechanism for being able to deploy the fibre in the ground itself. So we move very, very quickly. Um, okay. we, we consult a lot with uh, local residents to let them know uh, uh, where we are and what we're doing. And we just work with the community so that everybody's aware. So there's the potential for every house and every business to be connected to the World Wide Web at its fastest, at its fastest connection speed? Yes, so it is. So we are, there is no copper in our network. Um, we are end-to-end -end, uh, fibre optic. Um, so that's what we term by full fibre. Um, uh, it, is, it is the world's best uh, infrastructure and is transformational for residents and for businesses. And it's happening here in Huddersfield, which is you know, it's just incredible to think that we're at the forefront of that technology. And we, uh, yes, it's one of the key ingredients, isn't it, in terms of us being successful again as an economy? Yeah, it's seen, it is seen to be so important. It's one of the principal reasons now when people look to buy a home, they look and see what, what connectivity is. Businesses uh, are picking um, areas where, where they can come and invest themselves in areas where they, they can compete you know, nationally and internationally. Um, and the internet is just, uh, it's not just sales through the internet, it's how businesses work with other businesses and collaborate. Um, and it, it cuts across loads of different sectors. So financial services is an obvious example where you can imagine why you would have why a delay in pressing a button and something yes. happening yeah. would be hugely important. You've lost important. a million pounds lost in the million process. Pounds yeah. you, you've, you've had that delay yeah. um, but this also impacts on, on, on homes and enables all kinds of other um, uh, innovation as well. Will that sort of include 5G as well? 
Yes. So, so what this does is we create this this uh, this blanket of full fiber um, rollout across the whole of the the town, and that is then the mechanism that five G will then uh, be okay. deployed over. So it enables the that uh, technology to uh, to actually exist uh, in in Huddersfield. Brilliant. We started talking technical issues now, and I've seen this <laughs> term FTTP. What is that exactly? And uh, as we start, as things start to roll out as well across the uh, the region, across the area, you know, what geographical area and timescales are we actually looking at? Um, so, so the build we're looking at, at two two and a half years for the uh, for the build. We'll get within reach of nearly every home uh, and business, and that's the FTTP business. It's and fiber to yeah. So that so that is what you will see traditionally from connectivity is you know fiber to a cabinet. So that's what yeah. what generally is sold now. Although you know the, the the legacy network is just copper, kind of from an exchange yeah. all the way through to to the home or to business. But but what's emerged through super fast, as we'll term it, is. Uh, copper to the cabinet, uh, sorry, fibre to the cabinet okay. and then copper to the home or business. What we do is we provide fibre through the whole sure. of that length so it's incredibly fast, it's incredibly uh, reliable and it allows both um, homes to have your smart home technology to be able to run all the TVs that you need to be able to run that are increasingly no longer uh, HD but they're ultra HD, 4K, 6K, even talking about 8K. You can't have that technology through uh, through any other means, and for businesses, um, it, it, it's, it just it will transform not only just the, the the speed, but the reliability. And there's a good example actually for here. So if you're filming, I don't know, on, on 4K, you will be feeding it into hard drives somewhere and storing it. Um, with this technology, go on to cloud-based services and okay. just push your. So it's both upload and download. Space yes, as so there's well. polarity in it, which is Brilliant. important. It's an important point to do. So what we do is we we'll, we build the infrastructure, um, and then through a partnership um, with Vodafone, Vodafone will do the uh, the will be the the uh, provider that uh, you will see locally to to buy those services from. Okay, which leads me on to another question now in terms of how do individuals and particular businesses find out more and actually register their interest? Uh, so we have um, a hashtag uh, gigabit huds. Um, if you look for um, uh, www.cityfibre.com forward slash Huddersfield, uh, then you'll find all the, the details there um, and you can register uh, interests um, through the Vodafone um, page as well, which I apologise, I've forgotten the, uh, <laughs> the URL, sure but we'll, we'll, we'll put that. it yeah. somewhere. Yeah. It's on there. So you can register to find out when it's, uh, when it's coming. Brilliant. Steve, thanks once again for joining us today and telling us about this exciting critical infrastructure investment here in Huddersfield. And I look forward to seeing you again here on the business programme on Kirkley's local TV. Goodbye. <laughs>